Hello and welcome to the Paul White Show. We're glad you tuned in today. I am honored with a very, very special guest today on the Paul White Show, and uh, it is uh, Martin King III. We're glad to have you here. What brings you to Wichita today? Well, I was uh, actually invited uh, to come uh, to you, to Wichita by Friends University uh, to uh, be involved in a program that focuses on the 50th anniversary, uh, really, of uh, the March on Washington. And this year, uh, 2013, there are a number of anniversaries that are occurring, that have occurred and are occurring and will occur throughout the year. Uh, as I said, most notably, the 50th anniversary of the March in Washington where my dad mm -hmm. delivered his mm -hmm. I Have a Dream speech and shared his vision for our nation. This uh, community of Wichita um, is uh, certainly a very interesting uh, city uh, with, uh, with, with, with very significant history as many cities. But um, uh, I imagine a diverse community, and mm -hmm. so t today we will be talking about what it means uh, 50 years later, and tomorrow we will be having uh, a session, I believe tomorrow morning, where we will bring together uh, a lot of uh, different uh, community leaders from uh, the African American community, from the Latino and Hispanic community, from the Asian, from uh, maybe even Native American. There'll be a variety of persons participating, talking about some of the challenges and opportunities uh, here in the, uh, the city of Wichita. Okay, yeah, like I said, we're glad to have you in the city. I mean, it's a it's a, a good opportunity. Uh, I guess we need to talk about uh, the television station. What is your connection with Bounce TV, in case the viewing audience doesn't know? Uh, I am one of the owners uh, of Bounce uh, Television and a member of the board of directors. Um, uh, I was uh, actually engaged uh, by the uh, one of the, the founding president. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Ryan um, Glover. And Ryan uh, and another gentleman by the name of Jonathan Cates pulled together a management team and asked me to be on the board and uh, asked me to be a part of the effort along with Ambassador Andrew Young. And so as uh, founding board members and, and part owners, uh, what I uh, really appreciate about what Bounce uh, is able to do uh, is provide over-the-air access, free television, uh, to everyone so that if you do not have uh, in some communities however it is available on cable but if you do not mm -hmm. have cable uh, you can get bounce and there are about 15 or 16 maybe even 20 million people in this country who can't afford to yeah, pay absolutely. for cable and so this gives them an opportunity to have some level of entertainment and then of course much of the programming is Afri featuring showcasing african-american uh... movies and, and entertainment and sports at sporting activities uh... normally we see uh, all of the big uh, ten and and eight schools right, right. Uh, on, on television right. but this gives an opportunity for uh... The historically african-american colleges and university to showcase some of their talent at some point there will be a uh, boxing uh, added as well as uh, some additional kind of entertainment concerts. Uh, one of our board members um, promotes uh, major artists around the country, and some of his concerts he'll make available uh, for the Bounce audience as well. So, Ooh, okay. And then, of course, there's new programming that is in the pipeline uh, as we speak. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Bounce is, uh, I watch it a lot. It's well-rounded, mm -hmm. uh, and I enjoy it, and uh, it, it's just good TV to watch. Well, okay, recently uh, Bounce TV aired a special memories of my father. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about uh, this experience? Yes. Um, let me see. Um, I was uh, interviewed by some of our executives uh, at uh, Ebenezer Church, mm -hmm. where my father was the co-pastor with his father, Martin Luther King Sr., and um, uh, had an opportunity to share Number one, what it meant to be in Ebenezer at that particular time, because uh, that particular uh, church, uh, mm -hmm. today we worship, Ebenezer is across the street from the original church. Okay. That, the, that church also is the church where Dad's uh, home going or funeral service took place. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the, uh, uh, one of the major things that occurred in that church when I was in 1974 as a young man, my grandmother was killed. 
And um, uh, today the church is actually overseen by the park service so people can come and do tours. And so I, I was on that day as they were asking me questions, I was um, a tiny bit emotional mm -hmm. because, again, being in the church, number one, I grew up there, so right. I felt comfortable. But by the same token, I also knew as I looked over to my side, I could see where the organ sat, where my grandmother was playing the organ that Sunday morning. But most pe many people don't know. They know that dad was killed, right. but they do not know that my grandmother was also killed, my father's mother, um, and at, at Ebenezer Church. And, and so it was, as I say, quite emotional. But mm -hmm. The, the, the bigger picture is, you know, to, to understand, as I say, where we are in terms of our nation's history as it relates to achieving uh, the dream and vision that my father uh, forecast back in 1963. And there were some who assumed that uh, the dream had become real in 2008 and nine when President Obama was elected. But... Um, that was nowhere near the fulfillment of the dream. That certainly was a monumental, Absolutely. monumental step uh, for our nation and, and for the world to look at the United States in a different way. Mm -hmm. to say, the United States has now elected an African-American president, but that did not mean that all the work was accomplished. Right. In fact, Dad wanted to eradicate what he called were the triple evils of poverty, uh, racism, and militarism, and violence. If we look at race, we've made great strides, but unfortunately we still have some obstacles to overcome around race. But when we look at poverty uh, and militarism and violence, poverty was at 23 million at the time of dad's death. Today it's almost 60 million and growing. Uh, militarism and violence, we spend more than the next 10 nations on militarism. And then of course the violence, we, we just as we are here this evening, mm -hmm. a, a manhunt is taking place in, in the city of Boston. Tragically, the marathon uh, bombing occurred just a few days ago. So we, and, and then every day in our mm -hmm. communities, people are being killed by uh, homicide, uh, hom they're homicide victims. Mm -hmm. So violence is at an all-time high. We got to find a way to create a different climate in this nation. What I say is you know, when our children watch cartoons, seven out of ten of those are violent, then we allow them to watch regular television, right. and six out of ten programs on regular TV are violent. Then we allow them to learn video games, seven mm -hmm. out of ten of those are, are violent. Then they go to the movie theaters, six out of ten of those are violent. They are constantly inundated with violence. So we've got to change our diet in terms of what we consume, mm -hmm. and then try to create a culture of nonviolence as opposed to accepting a culture of violence. We are accepting. The only reason that there's so much killing taking place uh, in our nation, in our neighborhoods, and in our communities is because we said, well, what can we do? We, right. we accept it. When we stand up and say we're not going to accept that anymore, we're going to be accountable, we're going to hold everyone accountable, we're going to make sure that we raise our children properly, that we create an economic climate so that our young people will <clears throat> have jobs and opportunities, mm -hmm. then we'll begin to address some of these issues. Right. Okay. Uh what are your goals or future plans for Bounce TV? You kind of hit a little bit on that earlier. Well, you know, I, I'm a very small part of, of, of Bounce's uh, uh, structure. Mm -hmm. I'm on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, what I can say, though, is based on the last meeting, there will be some new programming, um, which is what keeps a, <clears throat> a network, a growing network, current. Uh, there are they're gonna there's probably gonna be some game shows or a game show added. Mm -hmm. There will be um, I think a, a, there may be a couple of uh, drama dramatic series, uh, something like right. reality, but not the same kind of reality we've seen. Right. We're trying to we're trying to do television in a positive way and leave a positive impact. Uh, you know, most of the reality um, television that we see is isn't it's some of it is entertaining, but some of it is not as wholesome as mm -hmm. <clears throat> we would like to see. Right. So uh, there, there is, um, I, I can't say exactly how many mm -hmm. shows are going to come online this year, but there will be some new, fresh programming that will take place throughout this year. Okay, well, I won't take up any more of your time. Thanks for being here on the Paul White Thank Show. You. I mean, I am really honored to have you on here uh, because uh, Bounce Network is just booming. As far as I'm concerned in the community. Right. Thank wonderful. you very much. Wonderful. Thank all right. you. Thank you all. all right.